there it is. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna slide. So it's the next day here after picking up the freshies, new 110s. If you didn't see last video, picking these things up, go find it on the channel. But first ride on this thing, Brian's out there working on the track, getting the uh, thing all prepped up. Go rip these things around, have a little fun. Justin's going at it, weed whacking. It's only run hot. Gonna clean the track up. Super overgrown right now. Justin got his pitter out here. Got a few more people coming by. It'll be a fun time, but we'll get this thing unloaded. Get this thing a little dirty. Oh. Still gotta dial a few things in, like the brakes are a little bit uh, not properly adjusted, but we'll test this thing out. Not that I haven't ridden one before, but got the weed whacking going. Ryan's getting some new jumps going. See it from the face. Gonna get all these weeds out. This jump looks so sick. This track's needed to refresh for a little while now. Look at how overgrown this is. It's like a forest. We've tested it out a few times. It didn't flow good. We couldn't clear it out of the corner. So we're just peaking it up, shortening it up, and uh, just making it more of like a shoot you higher than longer type deal. This thing will come out now. Nope. Thing's so deep in there. There it is. Yesterday was more of a prep day on the track than a ride day. We'll actually get the first ride here in a minute. So thanks to T-Bolt, getting the skid plate thrown on there because I'm just dragging the uh, the pipe and motor yesterday around because it's so low until I get the new dampening rods and springs in there. Thinks that's pretty low. In the valve stumps, like I said, I gotta get these rim locks on here. They're already pulling forward. The front is too, so uh, I will probably have a flat here soon. Probably today if I don't deflate this and at least try and straighten it out. I don't think this thing even lines up on here because taking a look where it would mount up, there's no actual threads on that mount, and it doesn't line up with the peg mounts. And then this mount over here doesn't really line up with anything in here, so this might have been for the old CRFs. That's a bummer. So much for that, we'll get both these loaded up, head over to Ryan, finish up some of the track, and get riding on these things. But Ryan's, I've been trying these new liquid ice energy drinks I found on Amazon. Actually pretty good. I've got like a, oh, spilled it everywhere. Buy them in bulk so I can stock up the fridge in the garage. The red one's probably one of my favorites for sure. Just got to Ryan's, getting this thing warmed up, and we're gonna go prep the track, change some stuff around, and new little lines, new jumps. Ryan, this thing's filthy, clean it. Somebody got in this thing, and they think it's a beater. It's got 437 hours. It's Ryan for you, though. Let's see what we're gonna change here. It's a lot better now that Justin weed whacked the whole thing, that it's not super tall. First thing I'm gonna do, now that we have more dirt, is widen up this uh, little table. So narrow on that landing. Can barely get the skid up here, so this up, widen it up make it a little bit longer. I don't have my GoPro, so I can't really time lapse stuff, but we'll do a little periodic update. Got a bunch of work done, shaped everything up. Got a shovel, gonna pack some of this down. Table, widen it up, double the size. It's way better now. It's not like two bike widths. That's way more solid. Shaped this other new jump up Ryan made yesterday. Fixed up the berm, so maybe we can carry a little more speed through here to clear this better.
I miss this thing so much. Gotta get this thing taller ASAP. The pegs keep dragging in the corners, and when I go to put my feet back on, they're like straight up. I gotta like jam them down. Back shaped up really good after all the little work I did to it this afternoon. Now that I dug down a little bit in the back to get some clay, the jumps have lasted way longer. Ryan's still out there doing a little work, scraping it, smoothing some stuff out. Not bad for a little hour of work, shaping everything so up. So much better than my cowie. <laughs> Finally shaped in nice. Still needs a little bit of work, but for right now it's good. see more pit bike content pit bike build coming soon make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already Ryan and I are thinking the whole pit bike track again is gonna get a full change we're gonna strip everything down flatten it and then rebuild it and get a whole new layout going to make some fresh pit bike content on the channel so if you're stoked for that and have any ideas let me know in the comments if you want to see that before the videos come out you can follow my Instagram at Tyler Monaghan on that I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video